wanted to show you our latest restoration this 1981 Fiat Spider. It's an anniversary edition, and so the gold color on it is, is unique, and uh, all the anniversary edition cars were painted that color. So we've done a lot of resto mods to this car. We had a great basis to start from, as this was a low mileage car. But uh, we've done a number of uh, upgrades and improvements to it, and I wanted to point these out to you. First thing you'll notice is uh, that we've done a bumper conversion on this and installed the early, early stainless steel bumpers. Uh, seven inch fog lights on it added a chin spoiler and painted it to match the car we've got our led turn signals on it integrated uh, next to the grill there the car has been equipped with halogen h4 uh, headlamps with relays so that they're about twice as bright as the standard lights on these cars makes nighttime driving really nice so you'll see from the stance of the car that we've installed our Voltland lowering springs which brings the car down to the same height as the European cars. It drops the car about an inch and a half in the front, inch and three quarters in the rear. Much nicer stance than the uh, the original springs they intended for the U.S. market. The car's, car's also equipped with our Senna wheels, which are a re re reproduction of the uh, Volume X wheels in Europe. They're a 15 by 7 with 195, 55 by 15 tires on them. This car has been equipped with our Willwood big brake kit in the front and our, our upgraded kit in the back. And uh, urethane bushings all around, so the suspension is uh, really dialed in. The car handles well, drives really well. Much improved ride over the, the stock uh, suspension. And as you can see, we've also got the retro bumpers in the rear. And unique with this car is uh, the owner is a cyclist so we've installed a uh, trailer hitch on the car that will accept a bike rack it's an inch and a quarter inch an inch and a quarter inch receiver and uh, bike rack fits right in there so you don't have to try and put your bikes in the back seat or any anywhere that's going to damage damage the car uh, we've also got an ANSA dual tip muffler on this car so we'll walk around and show the outside we've also uh, done a retrofit on the mirrors this is a German mirror that uh, covers the holes that the original black plastic mirrors uh, fit on the doors with. If you'll recall, these black plastic mirrors uh, aren't very sporty looking. They kind of change the lines of the car. So we've sourced these chrome mirrors that uh, are a nice improvement. So we'll look over the inside of the car before we move on to the mechanicals of it. This car got uh, marine carpet installed in it with a uh, hush mat underneath so if it does get damp or uh, caught in a rainstorm the top down the carpet won't get moldy or mildewed uh, door panels have been redone as you can see we we want to keep the brown motif that the anniversary cars had so the door panel got an insert uh, put in it to try that in uh, at the bottom where the kick panel is on the door panel uh, we've got the same marine carpet installed there uh, this car got one of our Competizione Sport Tuning steering wheels, 15 inch uh, wood wheel with rivets in it. We've put a Pioneer audio system in this and we've got uh, speakers both front and rear. If you can see down in the kick panel, uh, all the stereo stuff was sourced through Crutchfield. And the sound in this car is really incredible. Uh, we've also got an amp under the back seat and you can see the controller there mounted in the middle of the dash. So the seat's been redone carpet with a hush mat everywhere including inside the doors and we've got a custom boot on this car and as you can see the stitching matches the stitching in the seat so it's all parallel and uh, ties in with with everything and keeps it keeps all the looks uh, balanced so the other thing we've done on this car it's a little hard to see with the boot on but I'll be removing it is we've continued the brown motif from the upper part of the door panel into the side panels in the back so it, it looks continuous and it makes the car look much more finished something that fiat didn't pay any attention to the side panels never match the door panels on these cars and it just looked out of place so we'll remove the boot as you can see we've installed some seat belts in the back for the occasional rear seat passenger in this car once we get the boot off i'll show you what we've done in the back seat Car did get a brand new canvas top also so the back seat got our rear seat delete package uh, on the on the seat back and we've got speakers back here and we wanted to retain uh, the usefulness of the seat so it's got a custom pad up top so if someone does sit in the back 
they're not leaning against the speakers they've got a seat both on the bottom and the top and we covered the back panel in the same marine carpet that the the uh, floor got it gives it a really finished look the sound in this in this car is incredible you can drive down the street and wind noise or anything isn't enough to overcome the stereo it's got a really nice sound even when the top's down you would think the speakers might be blocked a little bit because they're not real visible but the sound uh, it just surrounds you in this car so while we're here we'll uh, start the car and let you hear the stereo car starts easily and we'll talk about the engine in just a minute we'll get the stereo turned on and let it come up it's a pioneer system with Bluetooth and uh, equipped with satellite radio and clear we hid the uh, amplifier under the rear seat so it's accessible if you want to make adjustments or need any service with it but it's out of the way and doesn't uh, intrude on the passenger compartment at all so one of the things you can need to see from the engine temperature is we've installed the lower temp fan switch so the fan comes on at 180 degrees in this car it runs 10 to 15 degrees cooler than most of these cars the way they came from the factory so let's take a peek under the hood of course since it's an 81 it's a fuel injected 2 liter engine and this car got one of our aluminum radiators a 95 amp alternator it's got our 123 ignition in it which is a programmable uh, distributor puts out about twice the voltage the stock system puts out really helps with drivability especially when we've done some performance mods so this engine got kind of an upper end overhaul with our street performance cams that are designed to work with fuel injection they have great mid-range power power range is about 3,000 up to around 6,200 which is the operating limits of a of a standard 2 liter so we've done a little dress up on the engine to make it look nice under the hood and match the outside of the car and as you can see the car starts easily even though it's got performance cams and it still idles at 1100 rpms and will easily pass a California smog check so that's basically this Restro mod on this 1981 Spider. All these parts are available on our website at allisonsautomotive.com and you can call the shop if you want to talk about your project at 909-981-3566. We'll be happy to talk about restoration, Resto mod, uh, if we can help with your project with either parts or advice, uh, we're happy to do that. So thanks for watching and feel free to contact us about uh, your project.